Welcome back, everyone. It is Mardi Gras season and so much fun happening with the Mardi Gras parties down in New Orleans. They're already starting with all of the parades down there getting underway this weekend. You're going to see marching bands. You're going to hear lots of music. You're going to see lots of floats and of course lots of beads as well. As Mardi Gras season is getting underway down in New Orleans, they are excited there. But we want you to get excited right here in the Wabash Valley because it's also time for Mardi Gras with the Swope. And joining us today is Sarah McCarthy. She is going to talk more about this great event and of course where all the money goes. Sarah, thank Thanks for coming in. Yes, thank you for having me. We've known about this for a while because our general manager, <laughs> Tim Sanders, is running for Mardi Gras King. So trust me, we've all been made <laughs> fully aware of how important it is to give to the Swope. But there is an important reason because this big event helps you all so much, doesn't it? Yes, it's one of our biggest fundraisers of the year and it goes to our annual budget, which helps keep the museum free. It helps keep um, our, our children's programming and our weekend programming free to the public as well. well what are some of your exhibits right now that you have? Yes, we have um, Sarah Paulson is an artist from St. Louis, and she was our juror of the Wabash Valley two years ago, and she has a show called Making Sense. Nice. And then when it comes to those kids' programs, I learned something new from you today, which is you actually every week give people a chance to come in with their little ones and learn, right? Yes, yeah, so every Tuesday from um, 1 to 2, you can come to the Swope to hear a story and make a craft, and it's mainly geared towards ages uh, 3 to 5, but um, any age is welcome to come. I love that you do that, because there's a lot of parents and grandparents and caregivers who are always looking for those activities for children, and there you go. Every week you have the chance to do that, so good for you. Well, yes, and it's free because of events like these. <laughs> free because you do stuff, fun stuff to make it happen, and this is a fun party. This this has been going on, what, 16 years? Yes, so this is our 16th year, um, and this year we have a new sponsor, the Terre Haute Casino. So nice. we're excited to have them on board, and it's going to be held at the Zora Shrine this year on North 7th. What is the actual event this year? It is uh, next Saturday, uh, February 17th, from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Now, it's not just a party uh, when it comes to, like, the Mardi Gras theme. This is a real big party with the Big Fun Band, right? Yes, so we are happy to have them. Um, so the Big Fun Band will be performing, and then we've also partnered with the a community theater and they're gonna put on a little show and bring some of our paintings to life. So. Really? Yes. Now I love the sound of that. So you all are a great organization located right in the heart of downtown Terre Haute. Do you feel like you get a lot of help from other groups like that when it comes to promoting art in the community? Oh yes, everybody uh, is very supportive of all of the arts organizations, the museums. We're all very supportive of each you other. You work together well, don't you? We do. We I we do. You have to uh, uh, to help each other grow, and um, you know we just want to be a. Uh, a place for the community to come. Well, I think a lot of folks in the community are grateful for what you all do, for what you all offer, but I know they always look for ways to give. If they can't make this party, on your website, are there ways that people can learn about maybe contributing and helping? Yes, so you can actually, um, through the Mardi Gras link, you can make a contribution right there as well. So you nice. can either buy tickets or tables, or you can just make a uh, contribution. Well, see, as easy as that at swope.org, you can find more information there. You can scan the QR code on the screen as well because that'll take you right to their website where you can purchase tickets too, right? Yes, you can. Um, are, do you still have tickets available? We do. We still do. Okay, um, good. They start at $50. $50 and if for an individual ticket? Correct. How much is a table? Um, so a table of eight would be $800. Okay, so you can get yourself a table, you can get yourself your individual ticket, but whatever you do, get there. Saturday, February 17th from 8 to 11, going to be a lot of fun and the big fun band just such great people like they put on a heck of a show and community theater will bring be bringing art to life I love the sound of that <laughs> and of course we want Tim Sanders to win so if you buy your tickets is there a way to designate purchases of tickets to the king or queen yes yeah, so we have six people out in the community raising money so Tim Sanders John Swanner Chris Olson Pam Chamberlain Stacy Thacker and Delilah Rickner and you can choose um, for your ticket or your donation of, of who you would like the money to count towards their candidate 
candidacy. Tim Sanders. Remember that. <laughs> WTWO, Tim Sanders for King of the Mardi Gras and the party. Sarah, thanks for coming in. Thank you very much for having me. As we had to break one more time, that information, it's coming up on February the 17th. Make sure you are geared up and ready to go for the Mardi Gras party at the Zora Shrine in Terre Haute, 8 to 11 p.m. Swope.org to get your tickets now. And stay with us. There's more to come on Good Day Live.